Hello everyone, welcome to IELTS Energy TV. I am your host, Jessica Beck, and today I am going to tell you how Three Key student Pawan got an overall eight on her very first IELTS exam. All right, guys, I wonder what score would you get if you took the IELTS exam today? I bet you wonder as well. You can find out, go to allearsenglish.com forward slash my score. Take a super short two minute quiz and get your estimated IELTS score plus free resources. All right, so let's talk about Pawan. That's why we're here. So Pawan's story is interesting. She prepared for IELTS for a very long time and she couldn't get the confidence she needed to actually take the exam. She needed an overall seven to get her master's and she couldn't get to the point where she felt ready. And when she did finally take the exam, she got higher than she needed. She got an overall eight. You can hear more details about Pawan's journey on IELTS Energy episode 785. Um, so today we're going to focus on two of her scores, speaking eight and reading nine. So let's get into it, guys. Now, before Pawan became a Three Keys student, she, I'm sure a lot of you are also doing this, she enrolled in a language school. She took an IELTS class in a language school and she said they couldn't help her. <laughs> there were no specific tips to improve her speaking and writing. And that's what she was really nervous about. That's where she lacked the most confidence, okay? So then she got a private tutor still didn't increase her confidence. So that's where she was. Let's hear from Pawan how she felt about her speaking before Three Keys IELTS. How did you feel about your speaking before Three Keys IELTS? I was fumbling like all the time. I, I fumbled a lot, okay, before Three Keys IELTS. I, I didn't know how to start the part two cue card i didn't yeah. know that yes i i just jumped straight onto the topic and then i haven't had much to say so it went you know <laughs> always i used to speak like for one minute 20 seconds oh, and no. it wasn't enough and it was it wasn't enough. So when I got into three keys, I I got to know that how to introduce my topic first and then yeah. start. Yes. And then uh, tell your story or yeah, all that tips that I got from your course. Okay, guys, I'm sure some of you um, could understand those feelings, right? She felt like she couldn't speak coherently. She was fumbling, as Pawan said. And when she tried to practice for speaking part two, she couldn't fill the whole two minutes. She didn't know how to start. She didn't know what to say. She could only make it to like just past a minute. So at, in Three Keys IELTS, she learned all about every part of the speaking exam, but for speaking part two, she learned how to introduce her answer, how to give context, how to tell a story in speaking part two. Guys, the speaking test is not real life, especially part two. It is manufactured, okay? It is not natural daily conversation. That's why it's so important to have a system of strategies before you go into that speaking test so you have confidence to answer any question that the examiner might throw at you. And remember, I know all about what the examiner throws at you and what you're graded on because I was an examiner for 14 years. So I, in this interview, I continue to ask Pawan then how that changed. How did she get the confidence for a speaking eight? And this is what she said. It was actually, uh as I got to know that you should use a lot of linking words and you should that way your speaking would look like organized and I did use uh, loads of um, linking linking words and practice them and then I nice. did that on the test day also uh, actually I I used a quite a quite a lot of uh, linking words that day Okay, guys, I love that answer so much. When asked about confidence, sh the first thing she thought of was linking words, which I thought was very interesting. Guys, 
As noted, IELTS is not natural. <laughs> Okay, the examiner needs to hear a variety of linking words in every part, part one, part two, part three. When you have that system, when you know those linking words, just like Paul Juan said, it's a map. You know how to organize your answers. You know how to connect them. It is a map to confidence, guys. That's what three keys get you. So before you get to the exam, you need a map like this. You need a system that will give you confidence so you know that you are giving the examiner what he or she wants on that speaking exam. All right, so next, let's talk about reading. Reading nine. I'm telling you guys, we have so many three key students that get nines on reading. So, Pawan came into the system already a pretty good reader. She said that she felt pretty confident in reading, but on test day, she had an eye infection and she said the reading test that day was super hard. So with all these challenges, she still got a reading nine. She said that she could hear my voice in her head on the reading exam and she did not feel anxious. So despite these challenges, let's hear how Pawan did, what her tips are for getting a reading nine. One thing I like to mention here it is the thing you mentioned in the course that, uh, you know, trust your intuitions, uh, stop doubting yourself. I, yes. I, I used to do that. I second guessed um, myself all the time and I stopped doing that after getting into your course. Okay, guys, again, it comes down to confidence, right? Just like speaking. Um, so, Poan says that you cannot second guess yourself. Once you have the system of strategies, like three keys, three keys gives you, once you have that system of strategies, then you can approach every question with confidence. Matching headings, true, false, not given. It's all in the course, guys. So listen to Paul Wan's advice here. Don't second guess yourself, right? Trust the strategies, trust your intuition that you are doing the right thing. Don't read too much, don't think too much. When you do those things and you second guess yourself, that's when you get wrong answers. I promise you, I've been doing IELTS for a long time, you guys, that is the truth. All right, guys, so as you heard from Paul Wan, it's still all about confidence, right? Um, don't second guess yourself. When you have the strategies that Three Keys IELTS gives you, you know exactly what to do no matter what IELTS throws you. Matching headings, true, false, not given, multiple choice. Those are the hardest ones. And I'm telling you guys, so many Three Keys students get nines on reading. So take a tip from Paul on here. Trust yourself, right? Once you know the strategies, trust them. Don't second guess yourself because that means you're reading too much and you're thinking too much and that gives you the wrong answers. So those tips will help you get a reading nine. Guys, it is proven students that follow our system increase their IELTS scores or like Pawan, get higher than they need on their very first try. So don't wait guys, you can get access immediately to the three keys system. Go to allearsenglish.com forward slash K-E-Y-S. All right everyone, I'll see you in three keys IELTS. Bye.